Hey there, you fam. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. You've seen us a lot this week. Oh my gosh, in the same outfits, which is fine. So we're answering your questions that we got through social media. And in this video, we're answering, what is your advice on finding the one? The, the one. one. Oh, oh my gosh, we, we did a whole series on it. And yeah. we were still asking. But it's but, all good. Yeah, it's all good. We're gonna help you guys out, okay. Personally, we don't believe in the one. Nope. Like, I love Annabella. She's the one. But it's because she's the one because I chose her to be the one. Yeah. If she wasn't here, then I might have chose someone else yeah. and we will be trying to work it out in that situation. Yeah. But I'm glad I've got this one. But moving on before I get in trouble. <laughs> We don't believe in the one because what the one represents is this ready-made package mm. of a man or woman mm. that will meet your every need. This person will come and they'll serve you, they'll be with you, mm. they'll, they'll cater for your every need. But man cannot cater for your every need. Mm. And the sooner we realize that, the sooner we can take the pressures off relationships. Yeah. It's important to just know that there's people out there that you can potentially be compatible yeah. with, but you have to be prepared to put to in work. Work, work through it yeah i don't think that the work is any easier with games than it would be with someone else like i know there's some crazy people out there no no no. It? but if i looked for a certain criteria yeah. in a person like i don't think it's easier because you're my one it's just that we're working hard yeah, to we're make both this willing to yeah we're both it. willing to make this relationship work mm. so like yeah, it will be different challenges with a different person, but there will, this, still be there will still be challenges. Like at the end of the day, challenge is challenge. But for us, we chosen each other, and now he is my one. Like yeah. there's no get out clause. There's no yeah. other option. We're gonna fight because to make this work. I feel like that's the thing. Like people may have excuses mm -hmm. when it comes to the one. So yeah. like yes, they use the one to get in the relationship, but they also use the one to get out of the relationship yes. because they'll be like, oh this relationship is a bit too hard, you must not be the one. Mm. And then they think, oh, the one must be Out outside. And, and then it's a recurring cycle, yeah. it just keeps going and going. So that's why we're just like, let's get that term out yeah. of your mind as a single person and just believe that like I am looking for characteristics yeah. in my future spouse Definitely. and they may come through different people but yeah. I'm going to choose one and that person will become my yeah. one and it's important to choose character over oh charisma mm. because character is consistent across the the person like mm. they're consistently kind they're consistently caring they're yeah. consistently considerate yeah. these are characteristics that you'll be looking at what charm looks like is someone who could exude this kind of you know this like I don't know like it's kind of like someone that's trying to lure you in by yeah. just being extra nice they're not being um, genuine, genuine yeah. and then they just kind of lure you in and then they mark then they reveal the mask yeah. and then you realize that they're just a snake you just have to ask yourself is this person being their true self yeah. and that's what you're trying to do when you're qualifying them to yeah. be your so the way partner. that you do that is to actually look at how they treat just everyone. Out of everyone. Yeah. So and also the people who actually don't owe them anything. Mm. Like that is really important. And I also thought about like when Michelle Michelle when Michelle was going out with Barack Obama, mm. her brothers told her to go and look at how he plays sports. Mm. Because someone's true self really comes out yeah. when they're playing sports and they're literally like, you know, compete against each other. Are they someone who <laughs> swears? Yeah. That is someone who was aggr yeah. too over aggressive yeah. and That's stuff like that. Like it's important to see people in different yeah. walks of life. Just so that you know whether they're consistent in their character. Yeah, but the question says, um, what's your advice on finding the one? We actually don't believe that you should be outwardly looking for the one, especially yeah. as a woman. Like, you need to be staying in your lane, yeah. doing what you need to do in life, keeping your eyes on Jesus. And as you do that, the right one will come, will find you and you will decide whether it's yeah. the person that you and, want to be with. So, And even it may be even a bit controversial for the men as well. I don't feel like men really go out there hunting yeah. looking for the one mm. again i think it's important to actually know what is in your hand at that point in time mm. and pursue that and keep working and then you will find the one on along your, your on your journey yeah. and it's important yeah because the thing is i think about like my journey when i was at university i knew that in, in my hand right now was my books and mm. i was pursuing that everything i had i was in the library and i bumped into annabella yeah. if i was um, looking for this one and I was yeah. going to all these different social settings and to yeah. the clubs and stuff I may have not have found her mm. but it's because I was faithful with what was in my hand and I found on a journey yeah. so many people are finding all these 
trying to find all these ones and then I'm in somewhere where they're not supposed to be. Yeah, you have to make sure that you're just not idolising relationships. Relationships and being in a relationship is not the be all and end all of your yeah. life. Literally, I think that when you start taking your eyes off God and you start focusing on like a relationship, then you choose the wrong person yeah. because it's just your whole focus. Like you need to be so focused on what you're doing that it only takes the right person to come and find you yeah. rather than you looking and then you're like oh so, he might be right here so what you're, what you're saying is be so comfortable in your singlehood that you really question whether the person is the right one for you yeah. because you're so comfortable in your singlehood yeah. and why is it that the people who are looking for a relationship are still single mm. but the ones who are actually not looking are the ones who are married and engaged yeah. it, to me it makes no sense but it's just the way of the world it's, it's, it's a weird thing that just focus on what's in your hand and the right person will come along the way. So we hope that video helped and we'll see you in the next one. This is Bye. Peace. Hey.